All right, thanks everybody for joining us. We have AJ Pollock now available for questions. Please use the raise your hand icon if you have any questions. First questions from Alana Rizzo, go ahead Alana. AJ, congratulations to you and Kate on being able to bring Maddie home. Uh, what was that experience like for you and your wife? Uh, it was amazing. It was chaos because uh, I had to get it done pretty quick because I knew I wanted to get back. And um, but it was awesome. It was a long time coming. We've been waiting for this day for uh, 130 days, and it's just uh, getting her home, kind of having all her firsts, kind of get out of the way. She's been staring at the ceiling of a hotel. I mean, a, a hospital for four months. So just seeing like the ceiling in our house just was overwhelming for her and mm -hmm. um, it was great it was awesome what do you mean by chaos can you put into perspective what it's like for a major league ball player that is a father and a person first but also has responsibilities to his teammates yeah you know it's um i've always had teammates that had a baby and they get to go home and they you know their wife is pregnant they see the baby and they go back it's kind of a pretty uh, kind of planned and structured deal. But for us, I had to go back. I had to learn a lot of things uh, from the doctors before they said her, you know, let her go. And um, so we did all that stuff. We had to get some things in order um, at the house. Um, she still has a feeding tube in, so I had to learn how to, how to work that. And uh, she ripped that out uh, <laughs> once when I was there. So that was not very fun holding a baby down while Kate's kind of feeding the tube through her nose and she's just crying. And, um, so yeah, it's, it's just a lot going on and obviously baseball. Yeah. You're, uh, you know, this is a really, um, it consumes a lot of your, your mental stamina and, um, you know, so most of your day you're thinking about baseball, but this, it was like, a, you know, it just completely, um, just, just put that aside for, for two days and, and took care of Maddie and got to watch the game while I was uh, with Maddie on the couch, which was amazing. Um, and yeah, a lot of crying, a lot of stuff that normal babies do, but she just hasn't really done that much in the hospital. So it was just kind of first for us and um, just chaos. And then obviously I had to get back and, um, you know, wanted to get back and think about who I'm going to face. And um, so, yeah, there's just a lot going on. You wouldn't know it uh, that you're going through all this at the plate. I mean, considering your last two games as far as the offensive numbers, uh, how do you think you were able to channel that into offensive success? Um, yeah, I've hit a couple. But I feel good. I mean, I, I think it's, uh, you know, as a player, you think it's more than, you know, you got to get your mechanics. You got to do this. You got to do that. And really, you know, if you're up there and you're feeling good, I think um, that's the number one. And um, in some ways, maybe it just got me to just say, look, it's keep it simple. Like it's, it's, I got a lot of other stuff going on. So when I'm at the field, it's, you know, all this other stuff that I probably used to do and maybe just put that aside and really just focus on just the important stuff and take care of business and, and go out there and just, it's like a pickup game of basketball. You know, you can just go out there and you compete and um, it's worked so far. It's early, you know, I've had a couple couple of fortunate hits um, but I do feel pretty good up there, and I feel like I can uh, compete against the pitcher and, and put up some good at-bats. Thank you, AJ, for your time. I'm glad she's home. Thanks, Alana. Next question from Jay Basset. Go ahead. Hi, AJ. A lot of people uh, don't realize what goes into being a DH. Is it, a, is it an adjustment for you to go from left field to DH, and how do you prepare differently? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's uh, for – person that's played in the national league for a long time it's just it's not something i really had to do it was just you know maybe a, a game here a game there just to give your legs a break but uh yeah i think it's almost kind of the same thing for me like with uh, the baby it just you know instead of making it a big deal just just kind of you know don't worry about all this other noise just just kind of uh it's like a pickup game of basketball when it's your turn go in there and hit um it's more of a mental um just different tweaks than anything. It's nothing physical. Maybe you gotta keep your legs a little, a little warm. Do a couple of sprints on the side, but other than that, it's just mental and um, just not making it more of a big deal than it is. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Next question from Jack Harris. Go ahead, Jack. Hey, Jay. Um, 
you know, I think I spoke to it a little bit already, but I mean, can did the last you know couple months in the last week in particular with all the stuff away from the field, like do you feel like it put baseball maybe just a little bit different of a of a perspective? And is it something that like when you're even at the field right now? Um, or I just I caught this last. I, the volume was way down. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I mean, you kind of spoke to it a little bit already, but, you know, everything you dealt with the last couple months and then the last week, can you feel that, you know, it's almost put baseball in a little bit different of a, a perspective for you? And has that, um, you know, either affected or just kind of given you a different feeling when you're around the park or at the plate or anything like that? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's just I put a lot into baseball, you know, and I think it's, it's kind of weird. You learn that all that hard work gets you to – certain level and then you know when you're overworking and you're overdoing it and it's not really because you need to it's just just more work to do it and uh you know your your mind is there and it's you know really you should just be putting in the work and then trusting yourself and and just letting just going out there and competing you know like it's pickup basketball yeah so it really kind of i think it's helped me a little bit you know it's helped me just to to take a step back and you know, when I'm away from the field, enjoy that time. And, you know, when I'm at the field, um, you know, put in your work, be prepared, but don't, there's no need to overdo it. You know, it's just to, to go out there, have fun and um, compete. I love competing. I love playing this game and just trusting, uh, trust, you know, all the work that you've put in your whole life. It's just, you don't have to make it more than, than what it should be. Overall, how would you judge how you guys have done offensively as a team this first week? Yeah, so I mean, we had in the exhibition games, we were just hammer balls and then you get to the season. Sometimes it's just a little adjustment. I don't think anyone would say that we've been firing on all cylinders yet, but, you know, we, we managed to, we're four and two right now. Um, you know, in the beginning, we let a couple games slip away, but um, we've got a dangerous lineup. I think everyone feels really good about things and um, it's baseball. I don't know, it's only 60 games this year, but, you know, you still just got to, it's still the same game and, you know, the offense is, is, you know, if we can scrap a couple runs and, and get some wins and not have our best game offensively, I think we'll feel pretty good about it because I know the offense is going to be there. And we'll have some pretty big days moving forward. What was the uh, reaction like pregame yesterday when the suspensions came down? I think we were all pretty shocked. And it just was – it seemed a little bit – well, a little bit. I mean, it seemed very, very harsh. Um, and, and I don't think anyone's too happy about it. Um, yeah, it's, it's not our call. It's obviously a uh, commissioner's call, but I don't think anyone's too happy about that. Um, yeah, I just don't think it's a very good feel on his end. So hopefully, you know, on the peel stuff, they could actually dig into it more and um, and we can move, move past it. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Next question from Pedro Mora, go ahead. AJ, if I heard you right, you said you didn't think it was a very good feel on uh, on the commissioner's behalf. Can you explain what you what you mean by that? I mean, I, I guess I, I think I understand, but I'm just looking for clarification. Yeah, look, I mean, <laughs> who knows? You know, when, when a pitcher's on the mound and you guys get hit, guys, uh, stuff happens. And, um, you know, no one got hit. Um, and I think they're trying to – they're trying to, to find some intent and that's kind of a really hard thing to, to find. Um, you know, it, this game has policed itself for so many years and, and I, you know, I think you just, you hope that teams are all being treated fair, uh, equally. And um, I don't know if he's doing that. So uh, I just, I don't know, for me personally, I mean, most baseball guys that are just true baseball guys, they would say that's outrageous. Um, I think, you know, I'm speaking for other people, but that's just, just me coming from, from um, where the game's been. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, it just doesn't seem, it didn't seem right to me. Um, and especially with, with what happened with the Astros. I mean, they, I don't think there's been any fines, any kind of, or not fines, but there's been no suspensions uh, on that end. So I don't know. Well, it's just bizarre. I don't think anyone was too happy about it. Um, like I said, I'm, we're hoping that 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 gets just reduced by significantly reduced because I think uh, eight games in a 60 game season is is pretty outrageous. You're saying it's almost 
you found offense in, in two fa facets, right? That the Astros, that it, that it exceeded the Astros punishment and that you can't certify Kelly's intent, right? That, that both of those things kind of combine in your view. Yeah, I do. I mean, I think it's hard for me to speak for everyone in baseball, um, but I wasn't on this team in 2017. Mm -hmm. And uh, a person that's in baseball, I'm pretty upset about what happened. I think they crossed the line pretty significantly. So, um, and I'm sure there's other people that weren't on the Dodgers that are pretty upset about what happened. So for, for me, I just, I didn't, I didn't like the punishment. I thought it was really uh, just too much. Okay. Thanks. Question from Eric Steven, go ahead, Eric. Hi, AJ. I was wondering, um, now, now that you guys are in Phoenix, are you able to be home this series? And if so, uh, does that require any extra hurdles for you to go through in terms of like um, extra testing or anything like that now that you're on the road? No, we're tested pretty significantly. I mean, every other day we're being tested. So uh, I'm being tested more than anyone, um, you know, that would be going through a situation like me. Um, so yeah, uh, hurdles. No, I mean, I'm just excited. I get to be, you know, we brought her home a couple of days ago and I had to leave her to go to Houston. Um, you know, both Maddie and my wife. So it's kind of nice to just get back and check in, make sure my wife's not going too crazy and, um, you know, just be able to spend some time with, uh, with Kate and Maddie before they get to head out to LA. So Thank no, you. I'm excited to be here for sure. I apologize. My hand was raised uh, inadvertently. My apologies. <laughs> Thanks, AJ. Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. Thank you.